What's happening hardscapers? Every time after a weekend, I just wish that I come to the job and for some reason somebody's had it in their mind to complete the job for me. Let's see what it looks like. Nope, just as I left it. That's all right, we're moving. And we got wiring going in for the hardscape lights. There's gonna be a six inch light underneath each of these caps add some safety to it then we can cut in our caps get our caps placed and then start laying pavers so in this example we are measuring our cuts and whenever we're doing a curved cutting space basically what we do is we line up our curve and then we draw a parallel line to that wall so we want each of those measurements to be equal we draw our line and then we take that and cut it nicely to take that wedge out and essentially what that does is it gives us our perfect cut going against that wall and then with our next piece for that curve we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to follow our curve and in order to make sure we're following our curve we want to get as close as possible to the overhang that we want to get to so i'm measuring that overhang making sure that it's what i want and then I'm making sure that we have a nice parallel line to that initial cap. So I'm making my measurement, making sure it's equal on both sides. And then I'm gonna draw my line and go ahead and cut that. One last time, I can measure those distances, making sure that they're equal, cut it, bring it back, and then we've got a nice piece to place and then we can go ahead and continue placing pieces or just continuing this process because it looks like here we have one more piece that we need to get to and it's the final piece. So I'll actually measure the overhang as well as the measurement from the foundation to the back of this cap. Both times, making sure it's equal, making sure it's parallel to that foundation and then I can go ahead and draw my line and this is gonna give me the perfect amount to be able to place the remainder of my caps along this run. So my cuts are done there. So now I need to glue down the caps. So I do a string line down and I need 26 inches from the foundation to the caps. My pavers are 13 inches. So that's gonna give me two rows of pavers, mixing it up to break up a single line. But 26 inches is what I need. So I measure 26 inches from there to this line. And then at the very end, from there to the line, 26 inches, make sure it's parallel to the wall, equal distance, snap that line. And now I can just run along here and start to lift caps and glue them. No machine to bring down the caps.
do invest when I can in smaller tools like this thing, which allows me to nicely pick up these caps without having to use my hands, pick them up, glue them down with an automatic glue gun, which I also recommend, especially when you're doing a bunch of gluing. Saves your hand a little bit. Those little things count and add up, but it would be nice to have a piece of equipment to place those caps. I'm gonna have a link in the description for one of these. Just make sure it's right for your business. It is an affiliate link, so I do get a small commission on this if you purchase through Amazon, and that helps to support the channel in its own way as well, so thank you. All right, that is it for today. I'm just gonna do a final walkthrough just to show you what we did, what we accomplished, and we're getting close, getting real close. So caps are essentially just dry fitted. I got some cuts to do, lights I'm gonna do tomorrow. So wire is run through each cap and there's a loop of wire available at underneath each cap there for the lighting. Wire runs under the pavers and underneath the deck. Caps are glued. These caps are not glued but we did complete this wall up until here, which we'll have to have a transition zone because this wall cap is level, but the driveway sloped over there. This is where a paver starts, so this can be fudged a little bit to make this transition zone as good as possible, but this will be a little bit more tricky to get, but that's coming along, and we compacted the gravel in the front garden bed, but tomorrow we're ready for lights, cutting the caps, filling in the gravel, and installing the pavers, and hopefully that's done by the end of day tomorrow. If you like this vlog series, please give this video a like, comment below things that you wanna see in the future, or any questions or comments in general that you have, leave in the comment section. I respond to anybody and everybody that leaves a comment, and I really do appreciate that. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for more hardscaping content. Thank you so much for watching.